All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the special delivery mod, which is being made by form user Beal. And what this glorious little piece of work looks at into the game is all the parts necessary to build your very own stock alike Cygnus spacecraft, which is pretty darn cool. So let's uh, jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get. Now let's grab ourselves a Mark 1 command pod for size comparison's sake and then use our mod filter just to leave on delivery. And we'll be looking at our first part in the engines category. But before we do, I do want to talk about not dependencies because thankfully there are no dependencies for this mod. You can use it on its own, but rather Let's have a little chat about compatibilities. Now, being a stock like Cygnus, this thing is all about cargo. So not only is it uh, built in with the usual regular in-game inventory system added in by the Breaking Ground expansion, but it's also fully compatible with the Kerbal inventory system, which is by far my personal favorite inventory system because it's wonderful. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about our first part here, and that is is the BT-4 Swanling rocket engine, which is a pretty small and not very powerful engine, only producing eight kilonewtons of max thrust in a vacuum with an ISP of 316 using liquid fuel and oxidizer. And as you can see right here, it is a tiny little thing, but a very good usable engine you could pop onto any spacecraft of your choosing, which is always nice. And I don't know why, but there's something about it having that curved top I really like. So many rocket engines we see just have like a flat plate across the top. And I don't know why, but that curve just makes me happy for some weird reason. But overall, a nice, a fun little engine. Now, our next part we do have is down here in commanding control. And arguably, at least in my opinion, probably should be up in the command pod section. And that is the Swan Size 1.5 service module, which is an unmanned command pod with a built-in data transmitter reaction wheel, SAS, a battery holding 100 electric charge, a fuel tank holding 90 liquid fuel, 110 oxidizer, and 15 monopropellant. And if we pop it on here, you can see it is a very good looking part, lots of great uh, I about said texture to the modeling, but no, lots of great detailed modeling and texturing. There we are, wonderful. I swear I can speak sometimes. And uh, yeah, it has a lovely little alcove in the bottom so that we can pop the engine right into that cutout. If I could actually get it, there we go, perfect. So it fits flush with the service module here, which is a very nice. It makes it all just blend in seamlessly which is very good. Now, after that, we have in structural, probably the most important part considering this is a cargo kind of mod, and well, we need a cargo part. And that is, of course, the Swan Size 1.5 Fuselage, which this is the part that is heavily compatible with the Kerbal Inventory System, and for the Breaking Grounds expansion, has nine inventory slots for you to use. But what's more fun, if we pop it on here and actually scroll up a bit, it has six different texture variants, which are great. And not just textures, but modeling on it too. If we sort of cycle through them here, this is the variant one, just a solid all around a similar job there. And if we go to variant two, we get some of the plates are colored differently, which is very nice. Variant 3 changes it to a different style of panel, which is cool. And Variant 4, we actually have three different styles of panels for you to enjoy. Variant 5 is a 2, but in sort of a different arrangement there. And 6 is just all around with that one particular panel style. So you can really change this thing up to match the aesthetic you're going for, and I always appreciate that. I think my personal favorite 
favorite though is probably variant two as i like the modeling on the variant one and variant two and having just a little splash of a different color i think is pretty neat now after that the next part we do have is the uh, swan size 1.5 to size one adapter which is an adapter as you can see right here if we pop it on it goes from the 1.5 size down to the one so that if we do say quickly turn back on squad and go to coupling we can very nicely fit on a uh, docking port there and it again sort of blends in with the rest of very well which is always good now after that we've got nothing in robotics nor coupling nor in payload but uh yeah oh yeah nothing in aerodynamics or ground or thermal but in electrical here's where we have the final two parts and the first of which is the Swan PA-1 Solar Array, which will produce for you three electric charge per second, and it's just a gorgeous solar panel. Now, we also have a larger Swan PA-2 Solar Array, which is basically just double the length, providing you with six electric charge per second. And if we pop them onto here, you can see they are some good folded in solar panels that when we do deploy, just extend out nicely and provide you with loads of power, which is pretty good. So you can choose between if you want a lot of power or half the power by just doubling or having the length good times and those are the last two parts you can see nothing in the final categories there and uh yeah so a pretty simple parts mod but with parts that are very easily usable with loads of other part mods as well as base parts in the game so you can make all sorts of different kinds of crafts with it and of course a stock like sickness so let's uh, head out to the tracking station where i have built a little cargo orbiter up in orbit at the moment where we can have a gander at this thing in the beauty of space and yeah it's just a fun little mod and i love how seamless these parts do blend in with the stock game with restock if you're using those parts and a load of other part mods out there it just works well allowing you to have a nice bit of extra cargo power etc it is a good times indeed but yeah that's really it to talk about with this mod it's a fun one and if you'd like to have a look at it for yourself which i'd certainly recommend you go and do you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual but uh, that is gonna be it for this episode today hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next one hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one